This is my second trip to Japan. How can I not be excited about this trip? It's only four hours flight to Osaka from Manila. Osaka is known for its own gourmet food, which I'm looking forward in trying as much as my small tummy can take. We arrived in Kansai International Airport and we're on local JR train to go into Osaka Central City District where our hotel is located. We had time before check-in so our first food is Nikokasu Udon. People in Osaka eat this for breakfast. It's Udon with fried hormone meat topping. Here we are in the Tonbori. This is the most lively entertainment area in Osaka. This is also famous tourist destination and renowned for its gaudy neon lights and extravagant signage and the enormous variety of restaurants and bars. We walked the Tonbury for almost one hour. Krabby mascot lured us to eat in this big restaurant, Kani Doraku, specializing in crab dishes. The food presentation was excellent, but it felt short on satisfying us with the taste, and the serving were generally not enough. A little disappointed, but I noticed that most of the customers were foreign tourists. We should eat where the locals go. Before going to Osaka Castle, we found famous takoyaki place, so we eat here. Takoyaki was yummy, a big thumbs up, but I felt short of giving 10 out of 10 because I can't eat hot food. Sorry about that, just giving you 9 points. We will be riding Suijo bus, which is a river boat from Dotonbury to Osaka Castle, it took us 50 minutes one way. Osaka Castle is one of the Japan's most famous landmarks and it played a major role in the unification of Japan during the 16th century of the Aguchi Momoyama period. Osaka Castle has five stories, it stands 58 meters in height. This is the emblem of the power and fortune of Toyotomi Hideyoshi in 1583. It was constructed at the former site of Honganji Temple. We went inside the castle for a small fee and it was well worth the admission price. The close-up view of Sachihoko, the golden fish tail ornament on each end of castle was so beautiful. You also get to see the city view of Osaka. Suntek Taku is 103 meters in height and is symbol of Naniwa, also known as the Eiffel Tower of Osaka. On the fifth floor, there is an observatory, but it was already closed. But the light up of the tower itself was very beautiful. We wanted to eat kushikatsu, but they had long waiting line, so we decided to eat sushi near our hotel.
Day 2 of my trip is what I considered it to be the highlight of this whole trip. Yes, we're going to Universal Studio today. Even though it is weekday, the USJ was really packed and it took us over 1 hour to get the tickets. Thanks to my parents, they brought me a portable chair to sit while we're in the park. I was very pleased to meet Snoopy because Snoopy was my favorite character at that time. If anybody asks me why I like Snoopy so much, I can only say because he's so cute. So this is what I found about Snoopy. He's a fictional beagle in a comic strip drawn by Charles Schultz. Dictionary meaning of the word Snoopy is offensively curious or exquisite. Synonym is Snowsy. Snoopy's birthday was acknowledged in a strip that ran on August 10, 1968. It is unclear whether that was his first ever birthday. If so, that would make him 52 years old. In dog years, that's 364 years old dog. If Snoopy is still alive today. Harry Potter was all shut down. Unless you book in advance, you cannot go inside that section at all. We had to wait over an hour to go see special Halloween show. Even though I did not understand the story too well, the show itself was presented very well. Colorful costumes and very good lighting effects were all so beautiful. It was surely a Halloween treat. The best two attractions were the Spider-Man and the Shark Attack on Boat Adventure. Oh my god! Look at that beast! That shark must have eaten 100 people! I almost wet my pants! Such a close call! Since the park was so crowded, we were not able to eat in any of the restaurants. We only had time to eat pizzas and fries. Last but not the least, I get to ride on Snoopy before the end of the day. Surprise attack! Zombie outbreak! They were running around all over the park. It was so scary, I must run home. This is the third day of my trip. We will be heading our way to Onsen in Nanki Katsura. It's about 4 hours ride on JR Express train called Kuroshio. We booked Hotel Urashima. Noted for its cave onsen almost located on the edge of shoreline. Splashing waves from the sea can actually come into the onsen.
Before check-in, we go eat lunch at a local restaurant near the boat dock. The chef recommended us tuna sashimi, which is the local catch of the day. Very delicious. Hotel provides pickup at our designated dock area and take you on their boat to the small island where the hotel stands. After check-in, we plan to enjoy the onsen and spend relaxing stay at the hotel. Before my first dip into the onsen, I exercise first and then eat the sweet snack. Compliments from the yokan. Ready for onsen? My first time to use the public bath. You have to be stripped naked when you're in the bath facility. The onsen was very hot at first but it feels quite nice and refreshing. Look at the views from here. I really enjoyed onsen. Thank goodness I didn't encounter many people inside the bath. I'm a shy boy. Dinner is buffet style and there is also extra attraction where you see the show where a large tuna is chopped up and sliced for sashimi in front of you. We look forward to tasting fresh sashimi tonight. The tuna looks yummy. I can't wait to taste that fish. There are so many variety of food to eat. Eat the daikimas. Before going to bed, we go back to dip ourselves in onsen again. On the way back to our room, we encountered a vending machine which serves hot snack meal. I have never seen anything in my life, so I had to ask my dad to buy something from the machine. There was grilled omusubi, fried chicken, french fries, and takoyaki as well. We tried grilled soy sauce musubi and yakisoba in the room and they were quite delicious. Ohayo gozaimasu! Good morning to everybody watching my video. We go get a quick wash and enjoy onsen again. We go out to refuel ourselves. After eating buffet breakfast, we asked the hotel to charter a private car for us because we're going hiking challenge to Kumano Kodo. We take our photos wearing Japanese sukata at the hotel entrance. Extra service by the boat operator to take us for a quick look around the small islands. Very nice breeze. Let me explain about the hiking course before we go. 
Kumana Kodo is a series of ancient pilgrimage routes that kiss across the Kihanto, the largest peninsula of Japan. These sacred trails were and are used for the pilgrimage of the sacred sites Kumano Sanzan, the three grand shrines of Kumano. Kumano Kodo has a good transportation network that allows bikers to fight off shorter walks by traveling to various points along the route by bus or train. Today we're visiting Kumano Nachi Taisha and Kumano Hongu Taisha and the Nachi Waterfall. This is the Kumano Nachi Taisha. The view of Nachi Waterfalls is great from here. We shall try this soft cream before we begin hiking. We also pray for our safety and also make a wish. This is Daimonzaka, the most famous path along the Kumana Kodo. This is where we start a short hike. The gigantic tree standing along the hiking path is several hundred years old. The atmosphere is serene and you can almost feel the zen. The whole experience is like your time sleeping to Japan 400 years ago. I'm glad that my parents took me here. The total zen experience you can only feel in Kumano ancient road. I really recommend you to visit Kumano on your next visit to Japan. Short hike along Daimonzaka is almost over. We shall pretend as if we walk a long run. Hope the gods in Kumano don't catch us. Strange things do happen in this world. Tell me if you recognize the road shaking. Watch carefully now.
Finally, we can look up to the Nachi waterfalls from here. Back to the hotel for a swim inside the indoor pool. Very tired. Good night. Today is moving day. Eat our breakfast, check out hotel, and go back to Osaka. Our last dinner is kushiyaki at a fine dining restaurant. The food was delicious, ambience very nice, and excellent service. Before I conclude this Japan trip video, I want to go over my recommendations on Osaka gourmet food. I'm showing you in random sequence. Number 1, Ikayaki. You can find this in Hanshin Department Food Court. Costs only 100 yen. They sell as many as 10,000 pieces a day. Amazing, isn't it? Number 2, Takoyaki. Number 1 choice is the one from Kukuru. They are the best. Number 3, Okonomiyaki. You must try modern yaki instead. It has yakisoba in Okonomiyaki. Oishi des. Number 4, Yellow Shumai. Only sold in Ipote. They use egg wrapper shumai, producing a little sweeter flavor you can enjoy. Number 5, Nikokasu Udon. Very tasty fried hormone topping on udon. You can get easily hooked on this udon. Number 6, Kushikatsu, you may only dip in the sauce once, but people use the cabbage to brush additional sauce while eating this piping hot skewers. These are some of the most popular food in Osaka. The more chips you make to Japan, the more you love Japan. It's the best food heaven in the world. Thank you for watching my channel. Please subscribe and hit the bell button down below. See you next time!